well guys I'm just enjoying a nice sunset here take a look at that nice sunset it's uh it's quarter after four right now p.m. not a.m. sunsets here at uh, about four o'clock now well you can see the sun is gone it's behind those buildings there and it's uh <laughs> it's just after four so just out here trying to get a bit of catch a few rays catch a few rays means uh you know you're just trying to get some sun before it sets you know now the sun rises from way over there and then it just sort of goes over there and then it sets over there so you know we don't really get a lot of direct sun rays you know it's funny even even if the sun is 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 high you can still almost look straight at the sun you know you're not you're not supposed to look straight at the sun because it's going to hurt your eyes right but but the sun is so far over there that it's almost like you can even even when it's at its its height you know it's almost like you can look straight at the sun you know without you know without damaging your eyes so anyway well guys today i thought i'd uh, show you my new winter clothes i picked up some some new winter clothes i bought them on amazon and uh you know i was actually surprised how how cheap these were i always thought winter clothing was a bit more expensive so hey if you're uh, if you're coming to canada or you're moving here to alberta where it's cold in the in the winter you know you might you might want to pick up uh some clothes similar to these i i always thought you know a big winter jacket like this would cost like you know at least a hundred bucks or or 200 bucks how much do you think i spent for for each of these items of clothing okay so i, I bought these boots these like uh snowshoes i bought these uh overalls i'll show you them in a sec and i bought this this winter jacket how much do you think i paid for each each item 40 bucks about i think about 40 bucks 40 to 50 bucks i think for you know a big jacket like this it's got like a lot of pockets and uh it's i don't know it's a it's a nice jacket you know i i uh would have thought it would be more i would have guessed it would be at least 100 bucks you know for a big jacket like this so i think it was only only like 40 bucks and uh these these uh snowshoes snow boots whatever you want to call them I, I think they were about 40 bucks as well and uh here i'll show you my show you my overalls here if i can do it with one hand i'm holding my gopro with one hand here i'll strip down do you have tickets tickets to the show i'm stripping down, stripping down my my, <laughs> my arm is stuck in the sleeve okay let's see if i can do it with the other hand okay so um can you see can you see this or should i put my camera down these are my overalls okay you can see that i'm wearing a a long sleeve shirt so so overalls like this these are sort of like winter winter overalls this style of you know clothing is called uh called overalls so yeah these are really nice overalls you know you can put them over your normal clothes right i mean for me i'm, I'm just wearing this long sleeved shirt and under here i'm just wearing long johns okay i mean you don't have to wear anything under there you, you could just wear you know you could just wear your underwear but um for me i'm wearing long johns under there and just socks and this long sleeve shirt and then i threw on my my overall so it's actually i don't know it's kind of cool you know i've never have never owned overalls before <laughs> it's sort of fun you know they're sort of cool you can i don't know just sort of move around i, I don't know it's sort of uh sort of comfortable yeah so i actually kind of like these these overalls there's i'll give you a back a back look and i uh, got my toque my hat here and uh you know it's got some nice pockets pretty deep pockets you know i've got my phone and my keys there and uh yeah i don't know so there are my my winter clothes i i think they were about 40 bucks i should have checked before making this video but yeah i was surprised you know for winter boots like this you know they're nice waterproof you know i can go trudging through the snow trudging means walking you know if you go trudging right now there's not a lot of snow it's just a bit of snow here on the ground so you know they're waterproof and they're warm you know i don't think uh I don't think my feet would freeze in these shoes so yeah they're they're nice uh got my my overalls and my my big jacket i mean you can see it's got zip like pockets zippers and like in these are inside right got all kinds of pockets inside and 
and outside and yeah even on the arm you know it just got pockets galore galore means everywhere I remember I made a video about the word galore when was that was that this year or last year can't remember but uh, how am I gonna put on my jacket with one arm I'm so thankful I have two arms to, to put on my jacket but how am I gonna do it with let's see let's see if I can do it do you think I can do it I don't think so my bet is uh, my bet is that I <laughs> will not be able to do it but you know maybe I underestimate myself oh look at that <laughs> look at that I did it almost but there's no way I'm gonna be able to zip okay there's no way I'm gonna be able to zip it up with uh, with one hand you need two hands for for some things but uh, anyway there's another shot of the sunset there and uh, it's about half past four 4 30 here in North America usually we say we say 4 30 but in the UK they would say half past four you know uh, in some in some languages I think they would say half five half five but in English we, we don't say that we, we either say 4 30 or or half past four we don't say half to five that would just be weird like they do in German right I think in German they say they would say it's half five <laughs> which is weird because we're not even at five yet we're only at 4 30 but um look at this I'll go trudging through the snow with my my new snow boots or snow shoes I don't know what these are called um still can't believe they were only 40 bucks you know I've been buying I've been buying almost everything on Amazon now that the uh you know in the pandemic I've just been staying at home and you know being an obedient sheep and buying everything on Amazon you know, it's kind of funny um our leaders are so stupid you know they they say that we should support local we should shop local shopping local means you uh you shop at local stores right small stores you, you support you know local businesses but then you know a lot of a lot of small businesses are forced to to close because they're non-essential right so the, so the government decides whether a business is essential or non-essential you know all the big stores like costco walmart superstore they're allowed to stay open but a lot of small businesses across canada are forced to close because well you know they're, they're considered non-essential you know like 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 small restaurants and and other businesses so it's a bit arrogant for the government to uh to say okay that's an essential business but uh sorry your business is is non-essential oh but hey you should support you should shop local support local businesses hey you have to close because you're you're non-essential it's our stupid leaders i wonder if my business is essential or non-essential what do you think let me know down in the comments do you think do you think mad english tv is essential or non-essential what's that it's non-essential okay well i guess i'm gonna have to uh close up shop I'm gonna have to close up shop close up shop means shut down my business until the pandemic is over so well you know sorry about that guys my business is non-essential so uh guess you won't be hearing from me for a while I'm gonna have to close up shop shut everything right down not make any videos I'm just gonna go trudging through the snow with my new snow boots hey are you a small business owner if you're a small business owner hope you're doing okay you're essential in my books you're essential in my books if we say in my books that means in my opinion all right in in, in my books I guess there are books in my brain <laughs> in my books in my opinion your business is essential and the government has no right to shut you down it's important for you it's important for me so together we need to stand strong together and uh, oppose government tyranny so hopefully Trudeau doesn't uh, force me to close my business but uh, 
anyway my business is non-essential so I guess I'll have to just close up my close up shop close my studio stop making videos yeah, it's a bit depressing but I've got a nice sunset to watch. That's essential. Now, that is one essential thing, a nice sunset. Hey, we can all agree on that, can't we? We can agree that the sun is essential. <laughs> a sunset is the most essential thing. We need the sun. I love the sun so much. You know, I miss the sun. You know, it's it's only 4 o'clock, 4.30, and it's already dark. And we're not even at the shortest day of the year yet, you know. Still got, what, two weeks? About two weeks till the just over two weeks till maybe less than two weeks I don't know what day is it today all my days of I've lost track of time but the important thing is that the sunset is important whatever time of year whatever season it is we need the Sun hope we hopefully you guys have more Sun in your part of the world than we do here in Calgary but uh, hey we'll get through this together we will get through this maybe I should hibernate just hibernate for the winter like a bear hey that's a good idea, actually. I never thought about that before. You know, bears are smart. Bears understand the sun is gone. There's snow on the ground. It's cold. We're going to go find a cave somewhere. Walk into the cave. Just hibernate all winter. Man, that's, a, that's actually a good idea. You know, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to think about becoming a bear for the winter. Let me know. Do you want me to become a bear and hibernate all winter? That would be awesome. Anyway, hope you guys are having a great day. Thank you so much for joining me in this video. You know, I just want to uh, show you this nice sunset, show you my new winter clothes. And uh, hey, thank you so much for supporting my business. Even if you don't think it's essential, it's essential for me. But if the government thinks it's non-essential, I might have to close up shop. But anyway, I hope you guys are having a great day. Hope everything is okay. Hope you're, you're, you and your families are staying safe and healthy, you know, wherever you are. It's a tough time for the world, but we'll get through this together. So smash like, subscribe. Oh no, I just turned, uh, turned a nice message into a marketing pitch. Stupid idiot. Shouldn't use a nice message in a hard time for the world to, to, to pitch my business. Say smash like. So, uh, sorry about that. Smash dislike. Give me a dislike for, for making a nice, nice message into a marketing pitch. Forgive me. And, uh, well, I can't think of anything more to say. You know, it's always awkward ending videos. That's the hardest thing about being a YouTuber, you know, knowing how to end your video. You know, just walking around, I don't have anything really prepared to say. You know, I just wanted to show you my clothes and now I've got to think about how to end this video. So I should just say thank you. Show you the sunset one more time. Well, hope you guys are having a great day wherever you are. Stay happy. Um, <clears throat> Hi.